high noon on April 21, 2011, in a Thursday edition of the Daily Journalist Upon the Streets. Mike Fry here with Nicole Leonhardt. Nicole, nice to have you back. Thank you. It was nice to be back. Also nice to have a little time away. So. Mm -hmm. Now, you be careful. Demetrius Clancy's replaced you one day, and he got beat up, but we wouldn't do that. <laughs> okay, that was yesterday. Uh, over at Kanky High School, uh, Nicole, are considering a longer school day, about an eight-hour day, should they get a federal grant. This is to improve academic performance. What do you think about this? Um, you know, I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. I've heard about longer school days keeps kids out of trouble and, of course, you know, more time for studying. So I think in the long run it would probably be a good idea. I'll tell you, now that I'm a parent no longer a student, I'm all for it. I wouldn't like it as a student, but as a parent I say, yeah, go longer, go 12 months a year instead of 9 months a year, and i got another idea. No driver's license until you're 18. I think you're a little biased because don't you have a kid coming up? Well, I might have a, you know, a particular reason to feel that way, but we don't want to go into too many details. Let's <laughs> just make it 18 for everybody. Okay. That's a little little harsh. Okay, you think it's a little harsh? Little I think harsh. the weather could be described as a little harsh lately, but I think they were going to, the worm's going to turn here finally. Who's got our weather today? That would be Dennis Yanka. Hi, this is Dennis Yanka here in the Journal Weather Office, and I think I've got some fairly good news for you. Today we're going to be at a high of 56 is all, and, tomorrow, and the low of 42. But uh, Friday we're going up to 60. That doesn't exactly make it a good Friday, but the calendar does. Low of 48 that night. Saturday will be up to 67. Uh, we've still got some rain in the forecast, but I think good things are in store for Easter Sunday and next week. So uh, I think you ought to stay tuned. Come back tomorrow, why don't you? Mike, we're back. It's Thursday. It's a Mike's Mailbag Day. And Linda from Bourbon A wants to know, did you have a favorite pet growing up? Yes, I did. Thanks for asking, Linda. And this is always a good time to plug our upcoming annual pet section. It'll be May 3. You can look for that in a few weeks. News and news, and my favorite pet was Charlie. Guess what kind of animal Charlie was, and you'll like this, Nicole. Well, I'm going to have to say he was a bunny. He was Charlie Rabbit. Yes, and we had this rabbit in our basement when I was a kid, and my brothers and I just loved him. What I loved most is the basement would flood during a heavy rain, and Charlie would jump up on the washing machine and watch my dad use the sump pump and get that water out of there. Charlie would just watch. I thought that was so good. Finally, we got a dog, and the dog and Charlie didn't mix, so we gave Charlie to our neighbor, the late, great Bill O'Connor, who is the father of Mary Gooding, who works here, and also the father of Mike O'Connor, one of the News at Noon leading fans. And guess what Charlie became after Mr. O'Connor became his own? I'm going to say a dad. A champion breeder. He was a prolific breeder. Charlie lived a good life, and he was a good pet, and my favorite pet that ever came into the Fry household. All right, and yeah, we were talking about Charlie. Sounds like he got to hop around the basement. That's so cute. I oh, love it. Those were good days. Uh, they're over, and so is the news at noon. You can subscribe to the Daily Journal by calling 815-937-3322. You can also pick it up on the newsstands. And so until tomorrow, stay informed, and remember May 3rd for the pet section. Five minutes of quiet. <laughs>